Hey guys, this is Colchon, and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I am still currently technically sick in a way. Today I'm just gonna play some Mahjong daily challenges. Um, but before I actually get into the video and start, um, from last week's video, there has been an update. Um, this was made by both the girlfriend as well as the ex-boyfriend of the story from last week. So, um, and this, I only know this because I got an e no, I got a Snapchat from the girlfriend, and basically, um, they did not do the do, and he told me that they did so that it could make him look like an OG, I guess, or like a baller, and no, it just made him look stupid at the end of it because, one, he got, he wanted to, I guess, what he said was lighten the mood because it was kind of tense. Um, and so he decided to make a joke. And he didn't think I'd take it so literal, but I am a literal person. I am blind. I don't want anyone to lie to me. And he thought his nickname would be tarnished with me. <laughs> Okay, hold up, we gotta... be cute if he could um if he could just you know I guess make a game out of it for himself <laughs> and that ultimately um cost him my friendship with him as well as Possibly his relationship with her, I'm not too sure. Honestly, her and I were going to talk um, the other day, but she got too pissed off um, after him saying what he said, which is ruining technically her reputation and mine for um, her reputation as a, you know, person with standards. Well, my reputation as a person who, um, tells the truth and usually gets her facts straight. But, you know, when you think you can you can know a guy and actually um, be able to trust them. You really can't because they go and do something stupid. But that's alright, I guess. Because honestly, now it's truly not like my problem anymore so I guess that's a that's a good thing I don't actually remember how this this one works so I guess and all all in all it's pretty good for what it has been for the past couple like days but also like 
I wish there wasn't that tension, and I wish there wasn't that feeling of, oh shiz, well I just messed up because I got the wrong information from an idiot. I know he's not an idiot, he's quite intelligent, but he's an idiot. So, yeah. But moving on to different topics. Um, happy belated Thanksgiving for all of my fam who lives in the Americas. I honestly don't know where a lot of my people are from. Actually, I know a lot of you guys are from Texas because you're. A lot of my first subscribers were just basically the people around me who are my friends. Yay. So, yeah. Reading it. Hold up. I hate my life. Um, so if you guys have any like video suggestions, game suggestions, or anything like that, that would be great because honestly, oh, at the moment, I don't have anything for myself because I'm right now, I'm just kind of attempting to do things. Because I'm not really a big um, PC gamer, I'm more so into um, gaming like um, on the PS3, not really a big sorry, not really a huge, um, gamer of, in the sense that I play computer games a lot, they're not really my cup of tea, But yeah. We love game ads, but I don't like to hear them. I actually didn't know what to talk about. Except that I knew that I had to clear something up. So this video might be really short. Um, oh, the topic that came up yesterday, so, um, a lot of you guys don't know, um, I'm a very blunt person and here's what we're about to talk about, we're about to talk about debating and why I debate, not argue, <laughs> basically. I'm a debater, and in debating, while you have a point, you have an argument, and you know, that's literally what I do. I stand my argument, I make my position, but sometimes, um, you know, as a debater, you have an opinion on something. And, but you also have facts with your opinion, so it's factual opinion. And last night, um, upon talking to some family, we got into a spiel, a session, if you will, about the man Donald J. Trump. But I'm not going to get into the argument, because I know there would be an argument in the comments, or somewhere on 
social media about me and I don't want that so Donald Trump is what we were talking about and my mom said that I personally quote debate too hard and I'm too blunt so I needed to apologize for my bluntness I mean in my personal opinion I was take I, I did not need to apologize because I said what I was going to say regardless as to how I said it because I'm not the kind of person that's just gonna throw facts out the window and um, basically it was t um, my new grandmother, I call her Grand Gran. Um, her whole argument about why she doesn't like Trump is because that he is a character, and that makes sense because he's an actor. And I was trying to get my point across that as a president, he's reading a script. Everything that he says is written down. And I know this because his inaugurational speech was written by not him, but somebody else. And they did this on purpose. They do this with every president. And if you're and if you're not with me on that, look at Alexander Hamilton and George Washington. So yeah, and basically my whole argument on my stance was he is a actor and he's a dang good one. He's been in many films. Look them up. They're really good. So right now he's just a pawn in a political game that he's not really all about. And her thing is basically that money doesn't, wouldn't change how she would talk about people. But money is a powerful thing, and you don't know what you would say or what you would do to get money. If you are in Donald J. Trump's shoes, what would you say, what would you do to get the most amount of money? You'd say what they pay you to say trust me it's a fact people you would say what they want you to say because one that's how you get the most profit and two literally all of it is a game Look at the world as a big chessboard and see how the world throws around its pawns. Right now, Donald Trump is a pawn. And that's basically what I was trying to explain. But, you know, elder people is more set in their ways. Well, some young people too, but I'm just saying. I like to get my facts first. I like to look at the facts and not just look at the social media. You know, I don't know, I guess that's just me. Probably quirky like that. So what do you guys think? Do you think being blunt is how, is the way to go? Because I've been blunt my entire life. Or do you think I should sugarcoat things and leave stuff out? In fact, actually, I probably will never sugarcoat things. And here's why. Sugarcoating is what leads to hurt. But when you freaking rip off a band-aid that is called sugarcoating, 
it might hurt like heck for like 10 seconds. But think about the relief you feel knowing that you don't have that band-aid anymore. I don't know. But, you know, I might be wrong. There might be no point in ripping a band-aid off if all people are going to do is hurt. And I guess then in that case, there's no point for anything at all, is there? Because the truth is going to hurt you. And if you're going to be hurt by the truth, then that's your problem, honestly. I'm not going to play any more daily challenges, but yeah, if you're going to get hurt by the truth. Just because, you know, you, I don't know, I mean, the truth is a serious and powerful thing. I like it more than most people do. <coughs> <coughs> Because the truth doesn't make me feel cheated. Which is why I am super mad at my ex because I value the truth I I highly value the truth and everything it stands for because I wouldn't want to lie I wouldn't want a lie told to me and I wouldn't want to tell a lie to anyone now you might say but aren't opinions lies no Opinions are opinions, and everyone's entitled to them, even though they're wrong, even when facts point to otherwise. So, what's your opinion? Are you a blunt person? Or are you a sugar coated person? Do you like to keep it real or do you like to cover it up? As you know, I'm here. This channel is here because I like to keep it real. I don't ever want to keep you guys from the truth. At all. Ever. Because it's terrible. Not telling people the truth is terrible. So sound off in the comments below. Do you like the truth or do you like sugar-coated truth? You know, the real sweet kind. Um, honestly, I don't know. I guess you guys can watch me play this game some more. Mm, it's kind of boring, I guess. Just Mahjong. And I'll find some other stuff to talk about. Let's see if I can find something on Twitter to talk about. Um, what is it? Um... So Christmas is around the corner. Actually, it's a, it's a straight line almost, but Christmas is nearly here, and that means Christmas albums, and that also means 
Christmas makeup and stuff. So I really want Jeffree Star's Alien palette. But I'm no, I know I'm probably not going to get it because his Alien palette is too expensive. Aquila, pay attention to the game. So I'm really sad about that. But I also want Copic markers. But I know I'm not going to get them because they're, because you know, a pack of like 72 is like 300 dollars, and one marker is like eight dollars. So. Yeah, I'm most likely never going to get Copic Markers till I save up money or get and get a job. Which is something that I don't have right now. Uh I am a sad poor little artist. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I think that, yes, Copics have a ridiculous price point, but also, like, quality wise, it makes sense why they have such a high, ridiculous price point, but also, like, pocket wise. Not a not a not economically friendly. I have trouble saying that word. I don't know why. But I also want to buy Ohuhu hoo markers, which are, as many people who have Copics say, just like Copics, but not Copics, and so that intrigues me a lot. <clears throat> it intrigues me. Where'd my water go? Mm. And here's why it intrigues me. Because. What are you doing? Stop. It intrigues me because. Okay. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to stop. Because I don't want that to happen. I don't want any more of that weird popping. But yeah, it intrigues me. And I really want to know the quality or similar quality to a Copic marker. In the past, you guys should you guys probably know that I have had um, color it markers. Um, so, yeah. I have felt actual markers that blend well, um, but I've never felt Copic quality at all because I am poor and all of my friends who are artists are also poor because we don't have actual jobs because we're artists. Not saying that artists can't get actual jobs. Just saying that we, my friends, myself, don't have actual jobs. <coughs> and please excuse my coughing. You know why I'm coughing. gonna dance again these guilty feet have got no rhythm I'm saying it to pretend oh my gosh careless whisper by George Michaels you know who got me hooked on that song Mikey as in glam and gore I know how it's literally just because she played it in her videos a lot you know because I watch YouTube videos because I'm a normal human being but you know I ah 
it's it's like it's amazing at first like I was like man I don't know what that song is and then I would and then Mikey gave me a freaking revelation and I was like oh my god so now I it's it's on repeat on my laptop so yeah beautiful also one more thing just out of curiosity um what do you guys want as content do you guys want me to continue doing little talk session type GPs do you want me to just actually game or what because honestly right now I don't have a gaming computer at all I'm using a stupid little Dell computer that has a tendency to spam and wig out um and I probably won't do any serious hardcore gaming till I get a new computer which will take a really long time because I'm poor. So, yeah. But what do you guys want to see for this channel? I mean, I do want to start doing makeup again, so I have to buy an actual video camera that or just use my phone camera like I used to back in the day you know if you were there at the beginning of my channel um yeah I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna start recording makeup videos on my phone again because honestly they were fun and I love doing them <coughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna start recording makeup videos on my phone you will see new makeup videos you'll see my new method because I don't have a foundation that matches my skin tone anymore I got shade matched last year at an Ulta and then I got up to Indianapolis and I have no idea what happened. Now the shade is way too light for me. So you'll see how I do my new, my brand new complete base makeup. Um, and I'll probably post that video sometime. And you guys know, I never edit. So it's probably going to be long. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll try to edit it, but also not really, because editing takes software that I don't have, because my computer can't run it, and I'm too poor to buy the software, because it's expensive, as in it costs money. So, if you guys want to see videos like that, tell me. Because I kind of want to see videos like that on this channel again. And I don't know. I just really like makeup and I've been experimenting a lot. So I want to show you guys, you know, my experiments. And I'm still using just a gigantic 180 palette, 180 palette from Color Workshop. And it still sucks. So. You know what that means. No color payoff. Which is beautiful. We love it when we don't have color, don't we? <clears throat> no, no we don't. S literally the only colors that have payoff are the reds, some, some of the browns sometimes, but they look really ashy on my skin. And like... Some of the um, orange shades 
and like the blue shades in the palette but like I'm never going to wear any of the blue shades honestly not because I don't want to just because <clears throat> for some reason they have it like in all cool tones and I'm sorry what's in my background is my air conditioning kicking on but um I'm never going to use them because they're all cool shades so they look cool cool warm cool I think they're cool shades yeah it's a cool shade it's a cool tone palette so it's all hum <clears throat> <clears throat> very very ashy on my skin and it's disgusting wow how do all my videos when I'm playing games hit 30 minutes we hit another 30 minute mark so I think I'm just gonna play this till extinction and then I'm gonna you know end it because there's no point in holding you guys hostage you guys have lives to live I might not but you guys have lives to live I don't think I'm awake enough at 4 a.m. to do videos. I don't see why I did this one at 4 a.m. Aside from the simple fact that I was awake. Okay, so that's gonna be it. If you like this video, if you want to see more of these videos, please comment down below like and subscribe to my channel remember to stay doing art move them pencils or pens and um, keep gaming like a OG <clears throat> and keep moving those brushes keep doing the make do keep doing the maquillage like a beauty guru I love all of my art gaming fam let's go I need to come up with like a fan name for all of you guys for my subscribers there'll be a video on that it'll be really short and it's probably gonna come to you somewhere in December. Okay, bye. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.